Um, <clears throat> I ha I would like to do the work on this. It comes with some curiosity too, because when I felt the stress that was um, coming from this situation, it felt really out of proportion, and there was there was a lot of thoughts. But one main one was like, this shouldn't be bothering me as much as it is, and um, and then I couldn't quite distill down what the thought even is. Like I felt embarrassed and shamed and or shame and um and it was it was hard for me to to get to the thought and um so so the the best like the where I ended up getting after a few days was the thought that they don't like the book and so the situation is just that I'm in a book club and we suggest books and then we and then everybody votes on them. And so the book that I suggested last month um, was put up with multiple other books to be voted on. And they voted on the book that I that I, uh, you know, that I suggested. And um, and I started we all started reading it and I was really liking it. And then I looked on the Facebook page for the book club, like forum and the host of the book club posted and said every like several people are saying how difficult this book is and they don't like it and let's just get through it and we'll have a lot to talk about as far as what we don't like about it next month and then there were multiple comments from several people <laughs> kind of making like two of them were making fun of the book um or things about the book um, if I hear the word authentic self one more time, I'm going to throw up and, and then, um, just like I return the book after reading it for 10 pages. And that's when I can feel I'm reading these comments and I feel as though my identity is attached to this book that I, like I was embarrassed. And so I couldn't quite understand. Yeah. So I guess there's I, there's also a question in here is like I felt the feeling more so than than I could even find the thought and I one wondered about that and then was wondering if we could work on the thought. Yeah, sure. Okay. So um, I think I think you got pretty close there. They didn't. They don't like the book. Could be a great one to question. Okay. Right? Um, okay. It can even get more personal if that works. Sometimes it's like. Uh, they're like, what is it about the book that you identify with? Like, what's the more personal version of it? They don't like the book mm. and that versus something even more close. I don't know. Ooh, yeah. That takes me to... Mm. Yeah, it's 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 pretty nebulous, but but when you said that, I felt uh, shame or and or embarrassment around that my set of beliefs are being made fun of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That 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 I'm a joke. That that my beliefs are a joke. That that's that I'm identifying with these beliefs, and that. I'm looked at as a joke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not just the book, but it's your beliefs. That's like one step closer to mm -hmm. the, why this feels really um, stressful. Uh, if it was mm -hmm. just a book, one thing, but I mean, that's implied in your first statement. We can easily work with that. Um, okay. But, yeah. Yeah. but it could be like they, they think my beliefs are a joke something like that or they mm -hmm. um yeah what are they doing on a on a personal level on an emotional level to you when they don't like the book
Well, there's a couple of places my mind is going. To me, it, I mean, it's more that I feel, on one hand, I feel misunderstood. And then there's just this, this shattering of an ego where I, I thought, um, maybe I thought I was going to be, that I was viewed or going to be viewed as like this sort of, I don't know how to even like intelligent or this information was maybe more new to them and, and I would be attached to that. Like they, they would be grateful that mm. I brought this book in. <laughs> it was mm -hmm. so embarrassing. Mm -hmm. I'm like even embarrassed right now saying mm -hmm. this out loud. Um, yeah. It's just so hidden. That you're getting close. Like whenever I feel that, that kind of embarrassment or like that, the emotion gets stronger as I'm looking. I know I'm getting closer to what's really bothering me. You know, yeah, <laughs> there's yeah. some, yeah. So uh, I want them to be grateful uh, uh, for me, you know, sharing this book. <clears throat> Basically, yeah. What are you wanting them to do? What were you originally wanting them to do to to <sighs> you? How are you wanting them to see you? when you shared this book and, and they loved it, as you imagined. Mm -hmm. I wanted them to see me as, as a, a wise teacher. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so that's, that's, now we're getting even underneath the, they don't like the book there's these other pieces of it. And that's these, that sometimes worth taking the time to just explore some of these. Um, so, yeah, and there could be more, but this is, I'd say, right in there. Um, and judging mm -hmm. by your embarrassment, that sounds like it's, uh, it's like, very close. So mm -hmm. you want them to see you as a wise teacher. Is it true? Mm -hmm. Yes. And can you absolutely know it's true? You want them to see you as a wise teacher. Yes, it's true. Hmm. Coming from that part. Yeah. yeah. That sometimes also is a nice confirmation that I found the thought that's really bothering me when it's a yes and another yes <laughs> for yeah. questions one and two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how do you react? What happens when you think I want them to see me as wise? Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, see me as a wise teacher and they don't like the book and they're joking about it and all of that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I see images. I th This is a group of people that I used to do competitive long distance running with. And I stepped out of that, out of that um, competitive athletic sport. And um, so I, I still want value in the group. Um, so I'm seeing a pandering. I want, I want, yeah, I'm seeing this. There's a loss. I feel loss. I feel um, embarrassed. I feel like I'm not valued or seen. Seen in a way that I that I would attach to value. I'm not seen. I'm not. That's not there. Um, physically, it's it's tight in my upper belly, throughout my chest, all the way up the vagus nerve, like into the neck. It just feels like a tight ball, a tight knot. I feel sad. Yeah, 
just, there's grief. I feel, I feel a loss of what, of connection. What are the images of what you think you would have had um, if they hadn't thought this book was, they didn't like it? What are those, what are those images you were imagining, maybe mm. fantasizing of what it would be like if they really loved it? Yeah, I see us at the book club and all these eyes looking at me with like in an admiring way, admiration and um, and looking up to me. Um, I see that there's certain people in the group. I, I see them looking at me impressed. They, they're impressed and they're, um, they're proud of me. Yeah, I, there's, there's this piece of me that just wanted to feel like a little bit superior um, and be looked at that way. Ah. Hmm. Yeah. I love your, wow. your courage in just naming it, you know, this is, this is, yeah, this is real work to see. So thank you for your honesty. And how do you treat them once they show you they don't like the book? How do you treat them when you were thinking that you want them to see you as wise, as a wise teacher? comes up is I so I added a comment and and said I that I was embarrassed because I was the one that introduced the book and then I and then I added in the comment um, I like the book although it's nothing really new for me so there there again that second part is me sort of continuing to grasp onto that, like, oh, I already knew all this stuff. And, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It doesn't feel authentic. So there's still an uh, unauthentic part of me that, that is showing up still sort of that pandering, like trying to, to maintain um, a sense of, of being wise, being intelligent, being the teacher. Right. Right. And what are the emotions you felt when they seemed not to like the book? And you were thinking, I was wishing they would see me as a wise teacher. Yeah, just like let down, just that, that embarrassment is so strong in, in um, like in my upper belly. I just, I feel like I want to shrink and hide. And how do you treat yourself? You treat yourself when they're not liking it, but you're wanting them to see you as a wise teacher. Wow, myself is gone. Like I, I'm not even present. There, yeah. So I'm abandoning myself. I forgot about myself. Um, I'm forgetting, yeah. It's a, I forget. I'm forgetting myself, and I'm 
um, <clears throat> and then what comes a little bit later is this shouldn't be bothering you. There's a voice that comes in like, this really shouldn't be bothering you this much, Kristen. Let it go. Let it go. Like, what? Come on. Like, it's like trying to, like, force it to force myself to feel better. Yeah. So it's, it's like you, yeah. It's like a subtle kind of attack of, mm -hmm. I shouldn't even be feeling this. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so imagine that the same thing happens. The you recommend the book, they try it out, and there's all these comments. Doesn't seem like anybody's liking it. They're just gonna get through it. But imagine throughout that you didn't have any thought that you want them to see you as a wise teacher. Who would you be going through this whole thing? Huh. Yeah, there's more like this is just information this is there's almost like a like a um excitement's too strong of a word but there's there's a drawing into it with curiosity and and um like an interest around me learning that not everybody aligns with that language and those those concepts and beliefs or cares about them um and that that like there's just um it's not even acceptance there's just like neutrality around the reality uh, around the fact that that's just not what some people find um interesting and that's actually helpful for for me to know that 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 it feels good like it feels like okay i don't need to go around the world assuming that um because i am a teacher in my workplace mm -hmm. right so i don't need to take that into it's like i see myself at work without an assumption that everybody wants to hear the words authentic self or trauma bond or these different kind of words that were coming up in the book that were triggering to other people that's good information for me to know mm -hmm. i could have more communication with i could be open that that isn't aligned with people and that's it's just like it's like it's like the experience is like I'm taking in that information and it's just expanding me. Right. 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 That's you without this background story or desire for them to see you as a wise teacher. You're learning about them, learning about the, the world in a way. Um, yeah. And emotionally, what's the what's the main difference with and without the thought? There's curiosity. I don't know if that's an emotion, but there's curiosity. And then there's, um, there's like a really subtle sense of relief, hmm. really subtle around, uh, it's like, I'm giving up that 
okay, I don't need to hang on to being the, the wise teacher of the group. Um, which feels actually, there's a sense of freedom there. Cool. So how would you turn the thought around? I want them to see me as a wise teacher. Yeah, we can go with, I don't want them to see me as a wise teacher. Okay. How could that be true? As true or truer? Yeah, continuing with that little sense of relief. Um, it takes pressure off. It takes pressure off of me. While I see myself sitting at the the gatherings and I can take that hat off there. I can take off the wise teacher hat and just be present. Yeah. Yeah. Actually easier. Actually probably more fun. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. And then it's it's like I have the freedom to be, to really be more whatever I want to be in that moment. I was going to say myself, but I don't even know what myself is, but like whatever is happening in the moment, I'll just, I just imagining myself responding or not responding or just being whatever I am naturally without that feeling like that lens is on me and I have to sort of match the lens. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So there's some advantages to not having them see you as a wise teacher, not having to play that role, especially when they don't want it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I see myself chiming in less. I mm -hmm. don't need to add a little comment to every little thing that takes it even further and adds a little little teaching or something that um, I feel like is beneficial to the group. I can just sit there silently and if I want to and let it be what it is. Cool. Yeah. And what is your purpose in being with that group from, from a broad perspective? What, why are you a part of that group? Why do you want to be there besides being a wise teacher? Just the community aspect, like the, the connection with women is something that feels so good to me. Um, and then having accountability around finishing books, because I've had a history of, of reading part of a book and then not finishing it. So that feels really good to have um, a commitment in a way to finishing a book. Um, yeah, it's mostly just, it's mostly just the gathering of, of community and a feminine, uh, energy. So cool. So you can enjoy all of that <clears throat> still available for you, um, without this extra, oh, I've got to be a wise teacher on top of it. Mm -hmm. Be a part of the community. I don't. So I, this is all coming under the turnaround. I don't want them to see me as a wise teacher. Then you get to mm -hmm. just be a part of the community. Mm -hmm. So what's another turnaround? I want them to see me as a wise teacher. I want them to see me as as a novice student. I love it. Or, yeah. 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 So how could that be as true or truer? You want them to see you as a novice student. These, these people are, I, ha I haven't um, spent a lot of time with them over the last few years and my life kind of went one way, their life went another way and they're still really in the, the competitive and athletic world and, um, 
and it's not people that I, the groups of friends, I have a lot of friends. I'm so grateful and lucky. And even the place that I work are a, more a certain kind of people that align with my spiritual beliefs and all of that. And these ones are not. And so um, one's, a, one's a doctor and one's a nurse practitioner and one's like a CEO of a company. And so there are these in the world, they, they have these successful roles and, and so, um, yeah, I can, I can really learn more about the world. I can learn about, um, the way they see even like Western medicine or, or whatever their, their expertise are in places that haven't really been of large interest to me. Uh, naturally, but it could, who knows, like it, it leaves me sort of like, well, let's see what happens mm -hmm. in this meeting tonight or, or whatever. Yeah, like a cultural exchange, you're like learning things from their mm. culture and whether they learn from you or not is almost doesn't matter. But mm, I like that. Yeah, cultural exchange. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So I want them to see me as a novice student. And when a novice student comes to a teacher, the teacher is usually very interested in sharing. So you may learn a lot if they see mm -hmm. you that way. Mm -hmm. So is there another turnaround? I want them to see me as a wise teacher. Similar to the one we just had, I want I want to that we could see if there's more there. I want to see them as a wise teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's very similar, but it has a slightly mm -hmm. different flavor. So, what does that mean to you to see them as a wise teacher? Why would you want to see them as a wise teacher? How could you see them as a wise teacher? I'm listening. When I put that lens on, I I'm I'm actually really listening, and and it's a really different vibe than what I've been bringing in. I'm sort of in the past. I see myself ready to insert something and have something where I just can't wait to say it. But when I come from that lens, I'm just open and I'm I'm like a sponge and. Uh, just a different way for me, which feels really nice, actually. What is the wisdom in them saying they don't like that book? What can you learn from them, from their opinions, from their actions? Is there what what can you glean? what's coming to me is just people are drawn to different things and and it doesn't what I feel is like it doesn't mean anything about me that what interests me and gets me excited and and what I like to learn about that other people aren't the same it's helping me realize that I do, I do that to other people. I grew up in a, in a religion, in the Mormon religion. And I, I, I have that toward some of my siblings and my parents, like, like eye rolling sort of energy toward some of their languaging around, around religion. And, um, yeah. And, and so I can see how this, brings me 
into a place of truth where it's more okay. It's just, it's okay. I don't have to be for or against, nor does anybody else have to be for or against sets of beliefs or wording and around certain concepts. Yeah. So there's wisdom in this situation. There's wisdom to be gained. And if you're open to it, it's there. Yeah. Thank you. Any other turnaround? I want them to see me as a wise teacher. How about turning it all around to yourself? Mm. <laughs> I want me to see me as a wise teacher. Yeah, to myself. To myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. It, it brings up almost like laughter in, in a, like a nice, like a just, um, it feels like trust. I don't know how that goes with laughter, but it, it's, there's like such a relief and just a, mm. Mm, like a deep understanding of, I don't know how to even use words around it, but like the oneness of it all. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. And you found a cool book that spoke to you. So it's like you're, this is you sitting with yourself and a book. And you get to be your own teacher and go as deep mm -hmm. with it as you want and enjoy the insights as much as you want. It's like being your own book club. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And they don't have to be interested. Right? Yeah. So I want me to see me as a wise teacher of myself. I can teach mm -hmm. myself anything if I'm interested. And there's a million teachers I can borrow for a while in the form of a book or in any form. But ultimately, I'm the one directing the curriculum mm -hmm. that's cool all right well thank you for your work thank you so much yeah thank you thank you everybody for just your loving awareness around all of this yeah. <laughs> i don't know you and i just felt so safe with that embarrassment being held with love thank you well, now you're actually being your authentic self. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's theory and then there's practice. <laughs> yeah. The definition to it. <laughs> and it was so recognizable. I mean, I, I also want that. I want them to see me as a wise teacher. Yeah. You're not alone I also in that want people to see me as a wise teacher, you know, and it, you. Such a trap, such a trap. <laughs> so stressful. That's what we're seeing here. It's like that actually shuts me down and lets me, puts me out of touch with myself, which is, has its own source of wisdom. I get out of touch with that and I can't help it. It's just a belief that I get attached to and then attack myself for. So all of it, it's so recognizable. Yeah. Thank you for doing this work. Mm, thank you all. so much.